Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cat Lady. Well, I was feeling kind of happy today, so I thought, what better game to play when you're feeling happy than the Cat Lady? Yeah. Anyway, in between the episodes, I think I remembered what to do here. So let me go test it and see if it actually works. I also have a walkthrough handy. I haven't looked at it yet, but just in case, it's there, in case I need it. We'll see. But I think I remember what to do here. I think you need to press the, uh, the I need assistance button and just annoy the nurse until she gives you sedatives. I think. W without blocking up the toilet. She, she, she thinks you're just being a nuisance instead of actually calling her for a real problem. So, let's try this. Oh, I should have turned the sink off. That was going to be obnoxious. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Nope. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what you're supposed to do. Let's see, how do I annoy her? How do I get her to give me drugs? I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the- I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the bell. Look, I'm a nurse. I have a lot of paperwork to do. We're doing our best here. It's not my fault that suicidal fruitcakes like you come here and scratch and piss on the bloody walls. Hey, don't speak to me like that. I'm not suicidal. And I'm not a fruitcake. And I didn't scratch anything, let alone pissing on the walls. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Perfect. It's actually going to work. Hmm. Let's put up a fight just to piss her off. Mind your own business. I'm not taking anything. I don't think so, darling. Now, you really don't have to lie. We're only trying to help you now. Now, let me have a quick look at your name band. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, all right? Now, I can't remember. Do I actually need to take it? Uh, sure. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. We'll see how this goes. Go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I'm feeling too good. Okay, so I think I need to get, um, what was her name? A Anne Burton. I need to get Anne Burton's mother's name from the mirror, but I don't exactly remember how. You can see there's part of it on the left and part of it on the right, but how do you get the center one? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm not looking too good, am I? A little bit drowsy. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. Not doing too good here. The door to my room seems to be off its hinges. Side room one. This is where I'm staying. Hopefully not much longer. Oh, I actually can enter it. Ew. Well, I suppose I can go to sleep. Let's not. Let's explore first.
Well, that's an interesting thing. What in the hell is that? It's like a... Oh, that's supposed to be a heart? Narcotic heart. Ew. So hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? I think I need to cut it open with my glass shard. Is that actually what I have to do? It is. Ew. Ugh. Okay, let's get some of that. Yeah, just you. I'll fill it with this drug. Okay, let's get the hell out of here before I pass out from looking at that. Ugh. That is really disgusting. Bloody medication. I think I just go to sleep now. Let me check in here, though. But oh, the name's gone. Or at least the, the part of the name, the fragment of the name is gone. Where did it go? I don't know. Let's go to sleep. Looks like I just died. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. And she doesn't question the fact that she just went into some sort of bizarre dream world and now has blood drugs that she somehow managed to bring with her from the other world? Okay. <laughs> Let's drink it. No. What is it exactly? And how did I get it? It's all a bit blurry. I can't really remember much. And... Let's see. I think I just give it to... I think I give it to Anne Merton. Go away. Please, just leave me alone. Mother's always told me not to accept any gifts from strangers. Never mind. Um... Okay, so the next thing I need is obviously the name. And I believe you need to get the name from the other world. Didn't I already do this, though? Didn't I already fill this up with steam and I had the hot water running and then I went to the other world and it hadn't... Like, the sink wasn't present in the other world. It was just a bunch of huge mirrors. Anyway, alright, let's wait for it to show up. And we'll see what happens. Oh, well, wait a minute. No, that's just the other part of it. Yeah, so part of the name is in the other world, and part of the name is in this world. So, Chila. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this was the section of the game that I saw that kind of really turned me off from it. Because... This is really silly. I mean, you can tell how silly this is. I just went to the other world after taking drugs. Into some dark, twisted vision in my mind. And somehow managed to bring back with me drugs. And you get Anne Burton's mother's name by steaming up the mirror in this world, and that gets you part of it. And you also get the other parts of it in the other world. How does that make any sense? 
at all. How are you getting this woman's name? Why is it on the mirror? Did Anne Burton travel to the other world before you and set up the puzzle because she wanted to mess with your head? She prepped the puzzle and primed it? Like, it is really, really silly. I think she's a little bit too drugged out to do anything that elaborate. As... As putting part of her mother's name inside of the other world for you to get. I mean... It doesn't make any sense. At all. It doesn't feel like that should be there, the name. It doesn't make any sense at all. It really doesn't. But anyway, I don't. Ho hopefully this is as ridiculous as it gets and it doesn't get worse. But again, I do always have the walkthrough just in case I need it. To get, you know, if this keeps happening, I might end up using it. We'll have to see. Anyway, Sheila. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Sheila. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Something's wrong with this place. Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. Well, you wouldn't believe where I've been. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? Well, I'm pretty already... I'm pretty sure it's already... I mean, <laughs> let me try that again. I'm already pretty sure that it's... What is it called? Methadone? I think. Yeah. Feel like sharing? What's your name? Feel like sharing? What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. And my treat, my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could, just one more time. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know? Alright, well I guess I have to go through these dialogue options. To be able to give it to her. Even though I already know what the little treat is, and I know she's not gonna want to swap our name bands. Until I give her the red stuff. How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically you wouldn't lose anything because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now, that is something special. Is it... safe? It's perfectly safe. 
Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. I'll talk to you later, yeah? I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Of course. Of course. Alright, let's give her the red stuff. I wonder if you can actually drink it. I'm not even going to try that, because if I do, it's going to be a whole ordeal to try to get it again. Actually, there's no way I can, because I'm, I don't have the piece of glass anymore. Unless if I went back there, it would still be cut open. Maybe. Anyway, let's just give it to her. I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. What was that noise? There was that, like, light switch being slammed off noise, like, doom. It's the same noise that, I, that was at the end of the of the introduction for the game, the prologue, where it says the cat lady, and then the logo disappeared, and it went click. Like this echoing, reverby click. I wonder if it meant something. I don't know, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Time to leave. Time to go home to my wonderful life at home. I mean, hell, if nothing else, I at least need to feed my cats. Hello, creepy bald people. You know, you look like twins. Also, the guy on the right, his upper body looks misshapen. It looks like it's inflated compared to the rest of his body. Very weird. Sorry, Mom, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, alright. I didn't realize you knew how to read. <laughs> there you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mum. We'll see you soon. You no, will? You won't. Now get out of my way. Yeah, I don't think you will see me soon. Alright. Oh, I guess now I have to actually leave. I thought it would do it for me. Never mind. It's a storage room door. Why, why would I go into this storage room? I don't know, but I'm about to try. It's locked. I mean, surely I can just walk out the exit, right? Hmm. 
Go to some office. My dime ward, that's where I just came from, of course. Maternity ward and exit. Dr. X. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Hmm. I could lie. Do I want to lie? I do find him creepy and I don't really want to give him much information, but... But what's the point in lying? Hmm. I almost want to lie just to see what happens. I don't know if this sort of, if this sort of an option, this sort of a decision, decision, actually has consequences. I'm trying to think of what it could be. What could this change? I'm gonna lie to him. Yeah. I don't like him. I, I don't want to give him personal information if I can help it. I live with a friend. She must be worried sick about me. A friend? Really? I'm confused. In your suicide note, you said you live alone. Okay. Um, I lied. Damn! <laughs> you shouldn't be afraid of opening up, Susan. No, I know. Please. It's for your own good that we're doing this. We need to figure out where things have gone wrong, and how to fix them. I'm afraid you'll need a time machine for that, Doctor. A human mind is the best time machine you can get, Susan. All we need is for you to relax and be honest with me. Can we do that? Yes, Doctor. What do you do for a living? Good question. Do I actually work? I have... I have no idea. Hmm. Let's go with no. I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt... weak and... powerless. And tired 
most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? There's a lot of options here. Let's go with this one. I lie in bed awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. I see. I'm scared of the coming day. I know already what'll happen. And what's that, Susan? Nothing, really. Nothing at all happens in this stupid, empty life. Sometimes I wonder why I even get dressed. What for? For who? I hardly ever get out of the flat anyway. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Hmm. I'll just say someone. A good friend. A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. You'll have to try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Well, she does have horrible nightmares. Or at least I've been having horrible nightmares lately. Let's go with the yeah. Every night. I take pills for that. There aren't any left now, though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Well, better than before, there's no doubt about that. Definitely better than before the accident. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. With a bit of luck you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near-death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Yes, sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? No. No. That's good. Alcohol is a powerful depressant. I never really liked drinking. Excellent. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Well, if I want to get out of here, I definitely don't want to say yes. I 
Let's go with the middle road here. Well, I used to think about it sometimes. Don't you think about it when you're really down? Susan, I'm a psychiatrist. My job is to talk people out of it. Would you ask a fireman if he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? Yes, yes I would. I suppose not. But I'm sure lots of people have times when they do think about it. I couldn't say, Susan. The statistics show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. That puts you in the minority. But of course, that's missing the point. Suicide is never the solution. There's always a way of solving whatever problem you might have. I realize that now. Please, in your own words, Try to explain to me, why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? There's always a solution. Indeed, and in my case, the solution is a deal with the Queen of Maggots. Which should go splendidly. Hmm. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Well, not anymore. Now I have a purpose. Get my happiness back by doing something with the people that the Queen of Maggots doesn't like. But we're not going to tell him that part. I'll just say... Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? Hmm. Loneliness. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. And yet you seem to avoid people because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Hmm. I don't think anybody would come. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes. Your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I didn't even know I had had a husband. Um... I, I don't know.
There's nothing to talk about. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. What the hell? What am I... Oh, I'm actually... I'm playing the memory. That's really cool. Okay. I'm not safe here. This actually happened? Or is this a dream? I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Harry! What Wait for me! Tell me what's going on here! It seems like a dream, but she's describing it as if it actually happened, so I don't think it is. security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Okay, why am I going first? Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Okay. Any chance I can open this door? No. Well, I'm still here, so obviously we didn't actually escape. So what exactly is going to happen? Uh, hello? Oh, there you are. Accident and emergency. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. All right. I was wondering where I was. I was hit. I was in behind the doorway, the door frame. Okay, what's going on, Liz? Are we on the roof? What are we doing on the roof? Liz! Is she gonna kill herself? What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz! It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. The only escape is death. Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll see. D d did this actually happen last night? Th 
This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Calm down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? I think I do. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, she smoked a cigarette in the, the oxygen or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait. Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. Oh, yes, I do. I do. He said she's a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Mm-hmm. On Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked. I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I don't I like this. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. Oh, no. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. It's just... For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz.
I guess Dr. X didn't count on me being immortal. Didn't see that one coming, did you? You creep. Well, that was a hell of a lot that happened there, wasn't it? <laughs> Jesus. Wow. The crow again. Well, let's pull the cord. I wonder what it does. Me too. Let's find out. doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I knew it as soon as I can't miss them. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Like my girls. I knew she would. No, I don't. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get her rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I'm going to leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine, I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one always lies. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. Well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> or at least I'm gonna miss out on this grand reward. I've heard of these types of riddles before. We have to ask a question and, you know, one of them always lies or something like that, but... I've never actually heard the solutions to them. So I actually don't know. Let's see what the question... Ugh. Let's see what the questions are. They are really fucking creepy. Jesus, look at them. Insult? Uh... Why would I want to insult them? I wish it stopped staring at me. Ask. Wait a minute, can I not back out of this? Oh shit, I should have saved! <gasps> Wait, can I still Oh shit, I can't save! Oh no. I should have saved. I can't back out of this. Now I can't insult the dolls, even though it probably would have done nothing. Okay. Which door should I enter? Well, there's a 50-50 shot that it's either going to tell the truth and it'll be the right door, or it's going to lie and it's going to be the wrong door. So, nope. Which door will lead me, lead me to my reward? Same thing. Which door will take me back to my world? Same thing. Is the door to the left the one I should open? Hmm. Hmm. 
Which door would the other doll point me to? Wait, can I only ask one question of each of them or one question in total? Oh no. Because that would change everything. One question of each or one question in total? Hmm. What about, is the other doll a liar? Okay. Hmm. That would only work if I can ask, if I can ask another question of the other doll. Because if this doll is telling the truth, then it would say the other one is a liar. If this doll is a liar, it would... Wait, no, shit. How? Oh, no. I'm going to fail this. I have no idea. If it's telling the truth, it would say the other one's a liar. If it's a liar, it would say the other one is... Well. A liar. So no matter what, it would say the other one's a liar, right? Which wouldn't actually tell me anything. I'm going to assume I can ask one question of each doll, because otherwise I don't think this makes any sense. Um... What if I ask each of them... Whether the other doll is a liar, what would that get me? I need to build like some sort of a... I feel like I should make some sort of a table for this. To figure this out. Hmm. I... <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I, I have no idea how to do this. I, I don't know, I've never done these riddles before. I've heard of them, but I've just never done them. I might be able to tell which one's a liar and which one's not if I ask both of them, is the other doll a liar? But they won't actually tell me which door to go into, so... So that wouldn't work. I have no idea. Literally no idea how to get, get out of this. How to solve this riddle. Is it even solvable? I don't even know. Which door would the other doll point me to? Which door would the other doll point me to? What? Oh, it, it highlighted the door? Okay. So the right doll says... Hold on, I'm going to write this down just in case. So the right doll says the left doll would point me to the right door. Wait. There is only one question, isn't there? Yeah. How... Is it even possible to find... Would any one of those questions possibly result in a useful answer if you can only ask one question of both of the dolls at the same time? I mean... I don't... I don't know. Whatever. I'm going in the right door. Is, is this my grand reward? Hello, Queen of Maggots. Are you home? I 
I can't even leave again. I guess I have to blow out one of the candles. Alright, here we go. Love you guys. I'm going to kill another person. Yep. It's not a comforting noise. It sounds wet and slimy. The hell is that? Okay, that looks longer than a normal human body. Looks like a gigantic slug or something. It's a hospital body bag. Let's open it up. Ew. Again, it's me. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. I think I've found out my purpose in life. Get murdered by people, come back to life, and re-murder them. They call me the re-murderizer. Or something like that. So yes, I guess waking up from being dead is not very pleasant. Not surprising. Probably kind of painful. Right, so Dr. X, who is extremely creepy, appears to be a serial killer. Oh, Jesus. A piece of sharp iron bar is stuck in the girl's chest. Fucking sick. He brings his victims down here in hospital body bags. Suicide note. It's the suicide note I wrote. Why would he put it up on the wall? My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Yep, that's the beginning of the note. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. It wasn't even locked. Well, of course. I'm not a prisoner here. He thought I was dead. You should never take things for granted, Doc. Because this might just be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Oh yes it is. Is there someone screaming? Is there someone still alive here? The fuck? 
Maybe I can use this chair as a weapon. Can I take it? Excellent. Am I gonna... Oh, what the hell? That was a weak chair. Lucky I didn't sit in it. Still, his wooden leg might be of some use. Just needs a bit of an edge to it. Okay, let's go find the screaming. Or do I want to? I don't know if I want to find the screaming. Well, it's not coming from here. Oh my god. It seems a little bit louder here. Oh god. I've seen something like this before. The living paintings. Except this here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair. This Dr. X is really, really sick. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Alright, where's the screaming coming from? Not from here. What the? Okay, it's louder here. It's another posed body, I think. Yeah. It's louder! I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch! Scream your lungs out! Louder, I said! Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. This is horrifying and hilarious at the same time. He's dancing for her. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> he, he's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead, and no one knows about this place. What the fuck? Well, it looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your body. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me, who understand the only pure and true form of art. I think I need to come back when I have a proper weapon, but I think I'm going to have to listen to her scream the entire time, which is going to be a bit disturbing. I'm going to have to calmly look at lockers and stuff while she's screaming. I'm sorry, I'll be there soon, but I don't... I mean, I have an iron bar, but I think I need better stuff. Yeah, I need to, like, sharpen this leg. I'll try to ignore the screaming in the background. A rusty metal locker. Let's get to it pretty quickly here. Let's open it quietly. Yeah, what's in here? A wrench. I'll take it. I'm not gonna examine too many things. Let's just take stuff. I need to get working. Girl with a pearl earring. Dead body with a pearl earring. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. Venus. Another poor victim of the mad doctor. There's something shiny on one of her fingers. What's on it? A ring? It is. Actually, it looks like a, a nut. A metal nut is stuck on her finger like a ring. I could pull it off if the finger wasn't so swollen and stiff. Oh, do I need to cut off her finger? Ew, I might need to. Can I get away from the screaming in here? Okay, in these side rooms you can get away from the screaming. Ah, peace and quiet for a minute. A fake skeleton. It had probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. Bolt. A large metal bolt lies on one of the shelves. Easel. 
The doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Workbench. Alright, I'm going to be making something, obviously. Some sort of a weapon, I would guess. Let's keep collecting stuff, though. I don't think I'm ready for it yet. Mona Lisa! It seems to use a lot of makeup to turn her into the spitting image of Mona Lisa. That's where it came from, right? Leads back to the cell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. The light's gonna keep doing that? Like, stupid lights turn back on. What the hell? Yeah, okay, they're just gonna keep shutting off. At least I can see the sink. Soap. What am I gonna do with soap? Ugh. This body is quite badly decomposed already. While well, real art lasts forever, doctors' models will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man. How did he manage to hide all this madness? I guess he couldn't get a hold of an ermine, so he used this creepy baby doll instead. Let's take the doll's head, because that's not creepy. I could probably find some use for this. You could? I can't think of one at the moment, but okay. Whatever you say, danger sign. It seems this place has been closed down for a long time. One day, when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will get buried deep under the piles of rubble. This must be the only way out of here. I probably can't actually leave right yet, yeah, locked, of course. Oh, and there's another dead body. And a key. What? A key to this prison right next to the door? Would the doctor be stupid enough to just leave it here? I doubt it. What's it to? I doubt it's the key to this door right here. Hold on. Liz. Oh, that's Liz! God, it's Liz. But... It's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet, here she is. Stuck on a metal rod. Looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy? Or... Was she really there, just already dead? That's a good question, because he was saying that he would have let me go if it wasn't for Liz. Hmm. Search her body. Her pockets are empty. Take her down. I hope at least she'll find some peace in death. Alright, what do I have now? Wait, so is that two iron bars that I have? Yeah, I have two iron bars, okay. Let's try to use the key here. Although I'm sure it's not gonna work. No way. Way too easy. Oh! Wait, does that mean I can just leave? I guess I could just leave, but there's no way in hell I'm doing that. Not while he's about to kill someone right now. Alright, let me, oh god, let me, let me see if I can get the ring off with, what, a wrench? I'm sure I could find some use for it elsewhere, what can I use? I don't really have anything sharp, do I? No. Soap? Not a bad idea, but the soap is dry, okay, I need to wet it. That screaming is really disturbing in the background. Ooh, saw blade. Take it. Ah! Oh. Gotta wait for the... Why does the light only come on when I enter for a couple seconds? Got it. That's so, that's so weird. Maybe you should turn the tap on first. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Fair enough. Whoops. No, get out of that. There we go. Hot water. 
Okay. It's covered in lather now. It might be useful for something, I guess. Let's be respectful in, of water. Let's let's practice water conservation. Let's turn it off. There we go. Wait, can I use items while looking at her hand? No, I can't, okay. Yay! Please stop screaming. Well, it's okay, we're gonna solve that in a minute. Alright, what the hell am I gonna make? Some sort of a... blade saw... thing? Seriously, what the hell am I making? Uh, leg? Bad idea. Well, fine. Come up with your own ideas then, Susan. Not here. What? Hold on. Oh, oh, I need to use the workbench and then use the workbench. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I should secure the top of the weapon now so that the, st the saw stays in place when I use it. Alright, put a bolt. And a nut. The bolt needs to be secured in place now, otherwise it'll all just fall apart. There we go. Now I just need to tighten the nut using some tool, such as a wrench, for example. I suppose it's time to go and see the doctor, but wait a minute, what about the doll's head? Wait, no, I have a spear. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> That's it, I can take it now. <laughs> I needed to put the creepy doll's head on the tip. For a little extra flourish. Or flourish, however you pronounce it. Um, I have a spear and a mace. I should get closer to Dr. X first. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna show the doctor a good time. So what, am I going to spear him when he's... Let's get out of that. Am I going to spear him when he's not looking? And then use the the blade mace against him? I think I am. Oh my god. Um, I should save it first. Let's go pay the good doctor a visit. We're about to make a new piece of art. Let's look at him for a second. I've seen enough. The doctor must die. Fair enough. I wouldn't stand a chance. He'd just kill me again. I need a weapon. Oh, let's do it like this then. Let's throw a spear. Hey, doctor. <laughs> I can say, what's up, doc? Oh, that's great. Do you believe in karma, doc? Do you believe in karma, doc? Alright, you can stop screaming now. You're okay. Wait, so I guess I could have chosen to use the mace if I wanted to. Man, that would have been messy. This is much cleaner. Um, I should probably let her go. Can I do that right now? I've just saved this girl's life. But why do I still feel so angry? Wait, are you saying I can kill her if I wanted to? I'm certainly not going to, but could you? Ugh. Let's untie her. name, the cat lady. Sh 
Should I embrace my cat ladiness? I don't know. That identity, though, the cat lady, that's one of loneliness. We're a new person. We're a new Susan. My name is Susan Ashworth. My name is Susan Ashworth. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. <laughs>